Uh, well, you know what? This quarantine hasn't actually been that bad for me. I mean, come on. I got a hot drink, a book. This is luxury. What do I have to complain about? Though, I'll tell you what. All this reading's been getting me kind of hungry, so I think I'm gonna make myself some food now. Let's see here. Maybe a sandwich. Well, I could have sworn there was bread here a second ago, and the meats and the cheeses. Hold on. Everything's gone. The meats, the, the beans, the canned peaches, all my backup food, everything. Oh god, where'd it go? Everything's gone. And the toilet paper. Oh my god. Oh god, the toilet paper. Why? No one can help me here. I'm stuck. I'm isolated. No one can help me. God. Anyone. Can anyone hear me? Help me. Help me. Help me! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, come one, come all, to the new series on the internet, Grogcraft, bringing you Minecraft in 2020. Oh, what am I doing? I wanted to explain this new series because, wow, it's, it's a bit of a doozy. This, this is something. For all of you who are confused by that intro, <laughs> good. Good, all, all, I, all I can say is good, because that is exactly why I made that intro, just to confuse and confound the life out of people. The real reason I made that little funny skit at the beginning is just because I wanted to not make fun of people that have been overreacting per se, but kind of just, you know, make a little joke about them. <laughs> not a harmful joke. I'm not trying to offend any of those people. It's just for the laughs, people. It's, it's just for the laughs. Anyway, I feel like it's appropriate that I probably discuss my series right here, right now, so without any further ado, let me just get right into explaining it. Grogcraft is basically what happens when a whole bunch of nerds get together in a survival world and try and test out each other's skills. I am a semi-good builder, sort of. I I'm, I'm working towards improvement, you know. Uh, ple please don't punish me, Grian. I I'm, I'm not trying to be you. That reminds me, looking at this house I built just for the skit, I, uh... Uh... No! <laughs> oh, no! How... How did this happen? H how did... How did this... How did this completely... Ah. Uh, I didn't even notice this. Anyway, I'm already pretty decent at survival mode, but you know what? I want to get better. I want to get better, and I'm sure my friends do too. So this series is just about having fun, you know? And I hope you as the viewer will also have fun, because this, I don't know, but I feel like this is a series that can be enjoyed by anyone. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Starting now. Just a disclaimer, I wanted to mention that most of the pre-recorded videos were recorded with my old mic, so that's why they're low quality. Anything high quality you hear is probably recorded uh, ahead of time. So uh, just just a disclaimer, you, none of you probably even needed it. So as you can probably tell, this is actually my first time logging onto the world, and I'm pretty excited. You know, I got my wood, I got my bowls, I'm ready to collect some food, and hopefully if I can, establish a good base don't want to be out here wandering for long. The sun was up in the mushroom fields, and it was around that time that I decided to gather some food. Wouldn't want to be starving to death at night. That's the worst fate you can ever imagine. Of course, you have to understand, I wasn't the only one that was on. My good friend Infinite was also on, and I decided to offer him some of my mushroom stew. Having a good neighbor is the best kind of gift. And so, we waved our goodbyes, and I set off to get some wood. Want to start that base I talked about. Me and Infinite were out living the true Minecraft life, collecting wood and having a jolly old time. This is what Minecraft is for, right? It was around this time that my friend Granny joined and we were talking about how excited I was to get my mic and about this fresh new start to the series. This is my friend Granny, by the way. He's great at exterior design and making horrendously awful skins. He's kind of infamous for that. That was a joke, by the way. He makes bad skins on purpose. Well, anyway. As you can probably tell, it was around this time I decided to hit the mines. It's one of the smartest things to do in Minecraft. Unfortunately, though, all this mining had done a number on my pickaxe. 
I decided that when this was all over, I was going to upgrade to stone. A few monsters decided to eat me on my way up. Hopefully this world will get a little bit more lit up in the future. Ah uh, yes, stone tools, as promised. We also somehow had enough time in our schedules to make fun of Infinite's name for how it was spelled. Spell it out. I mean, it is spelled like that. It... Well, actually, it looks more like... It looks more like... Infante. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, the mic quality has increased greatly. <laughs> After 20 minutes of running around and doing next to nothing, the amount of friends that joined the world inclined to four. This is a great opening day. These friends included Infinite and Granny, who you already know, and also my friend Onyx. He's a pretty cool dude. Lives out of this country, though. Four people, one world. Imagine what could happen. A little while later, me and my friends actually came across an Enderman, and I did the right thing. Oh, it's an Enderman. Uh, I know just what to do. Nobody move. Not even the Enderman. Don't, don't you move, Enderman. If you move... Oh, frick, he moved. At least he's not teleporting. XD, oh, that's not part of the plan! Great at me. Don't hit the Enderman. I need to... Wait, Granny, don't... Granny... Don't hit him. Don't hit him. Don't hit him. Uh... Oh! <laughs> no! Granny! Wait, don't hit him. Don't hit him. Don't hit him. I need him to get mad at me. I hit him. Now no one... No one do anything. It works. It works. <laughs> I am the mighty Enderman Slayer. Yes. Elbear, the mighty Enderman Slayer. And even after the Enderman was slayed, as you can imagine, the shenanigans continued. That sounds like cannibalism. Anyone interested in flesh? <laughs> 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 and I, I'm, I'm Zombie Zerg. Look, I, I can play a violin. Like it's like that Mr. Krabs scene, the world's smallest violin. <laughs> <laughs> Solitude in E minor. Uh, Granny Rita just stole my shoes. Can we just say that piano was perfect? That's how I feel right now. I got my Stu shawl and my map shawl. Shawl and stolen. <laughs> Stop killing me! Believe me when I say that we were chaotic for basically the rest of the time. Hardly any progress was made. Infinite, do you infinite? Do you do you need do you need uh do you need planks? Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, no! What? No, no. <laughs> Bro, why? Why are you gonna hit me? I was gonna okay, offer guys, you my freaking. This is my. I'm gonna offer this you my playing. Uh, I don't know. This was Skyrim. You're getting murdered to death. Why have uh, you got some arms? Riding on a horse. Huh. <laughs> ah! It's the wither. Kill it. Kill the wither. Kill the wither. Okay, I'm not. I'm not actually gonna kill. I'm not actually gonna yes. kill you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Infinite? Up. How the? F yeah, Wait, I don't. I didn't what, see magic anything. Magic arrow just came and killed you. I, I'm worried now. The magic arrow, please, please don't kill us. I, I have so much wood. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up! Look at, look at these jazz hands. Fabulous! I truly and sincerely apologize to everyone in existence. Shenanigans with friends finally out of the way though, I wanted to actually discuss my base. Now earlier I was talking about how I wanted to use my own wood to create one, but what ultimately ended up happening is that me and my friends found this really clever hole in the ground that you see here, and over the course of a few weeks we renovated it. We put in doors and windows and cobblestone, and right now it looks really cool. So let me show you these next clips. They'll show you the evolution of the base. Now, as you might be able to tell, this is actually the base in its very early stages. Now, it has everything essential you need. Furnaces, a crafting table, and of course, a bed. It also has my personal favorite feature, a staircase that leads all the way down to Y equals 12. And that, that is going to be my main diamond mine over the course of hopefully the whole season. After actually upgrading my tools to iron, I went to work on the mine for the very second time ever. Progress was relatively slow, but remember, it was pretty much a team effort, so it wasn't as bad as one might imagine. 
Ah, my iron frickin' pick broke. I have to go make another one. I decided to renovate this place a little bit by placing torches down and also trying to make the ceiling oh, bigger, crap. even though I ran into a few problems along the way. Here it is now, though. Yeah. Ah, uh, 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 why is there a spider in here? For frick's sake. Yeah, I really need to get this place more lit up. Bro. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> Renovation time! Yay! And it wasn't over because there was more shenanigans to come. Oh boy. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> wow. What the heck? Wait, where'd you go? Bro! Infinite, where the heck? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I know. I know I said I was done with shenanigans. I know. I just... I had to do it. Well, spoiler alert, the place did actually end up getting lit up. So, just so you know. After a good long mining sesh, I was finally fortunate enough to adorn some armor for myself. And I went back into the mine, and for whatever reason, I found this. Infinite made his own hidey hole. <laughs> this is supposed to be like his way to earn resources by like, begging in a hole. I, I passed down some cobblestone. You're welcome. And this is what his hole looks like. I mean... <laughs> is he really... Has he really gotten that desperate? Like, now people, take this clip as an example of why you get your own food. That happens! Well, at least the entranceways are looking pretty nice for both the entrance to the mine and the hidey hole, I have to say. Quick overview of the base and motion blur. I'm pretty proud of the little thing. I was also finally in the right mind to add another essential to the base. Chests. I mean, if I'm gonna mine, I'm probably gonna need chests. Look at all that cobblestone. Ooh, baby, survival mode. Not sure why I said that, but anyway, I went to the Mushroom Island to milk a mushroom at night for some reason. What? These days, what am I thinking? And I must have gone AFK for like one second because then this happened. Oh boy, I don't really know how to describe it, but for some reason this season, I really hate the drowned. Like, more than usual. Well, enough about my base for now. Well, it's official, guys. I've just broken Minecraft. <laughs> Look. Look at this. This isn't okay. This shouldn't exist. Well, you know how I had uh, broken my roof earlier and I was trying to fix it? Well, yeah. I think I think I just broke it a little bit more. This is very cursed and this should not exist. Please get out of my sight. Now it's come to my understanding that I've only given you guys short little compilations of me mining and you know what? No one really wants that. No one really likes that. So I'm gonna give everyone what they really want. A time lapse, baby. Oh yeah, this is my first time lapse I've ever done on Grubcraft and I am so unbelievably excited to get right into this thing. So without any further ado, the time lapse right now. Now that was an interesting time lapse, I think. And after all that, these are the spoils. It's not great, it's not professional, but I'm kind of proud of it. Cobblestone aside though, this is the treasure chest. I keep all my valuables in here. And yes, if you were paying attention to the time lapse, I, I found not one, not four, but uh, yeah, eight diamonds. I don't mean to brag, but that's pretty good. I did what any sensible Minecrafter would do. I crafted a pick and sword, yes. I also needed a bit of wood because, well, you know, bowls. I was uh, kind of running low on my mushroom stew supply and I figured that I didn't want to starve to death. Yes! Bowls! And so, with bowls in one hand and pick in the other, I set off bravely towards the mushroom bile. And you know, besides just stew, I also wanted to help my buddy Infinite out, so I cleared the big patch of mushroom that was over his tree farm. Not sure why that was there. Ah, uh, that's much better. Ahoy there! Mushrooms! Stew! <laughs> this is what I'm here for! 
And I don't know if it's just random tick seed, but I literally left infinite's trees alone for like one second. <laughs> infinite. Infinite. I mean, I have to admit, I'm I'm kind of surprised he didn't think about removing it. <laughs> infinite. Mushroom removing out of the way. Check out my boat. I mean, I think it's pretty slick. It's, uh, it's up to interpretation. But just because I have a boat doesn't necessarily mean I know how to use it. I was <laughs> literally just trying to get home, okay? I was just trying to get home, and then I got lost. Crap. This is not good. This this is not good at all. Oh! Oh! Holy crap! Oh! What the heck? What the? No! Dude! Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? Ah! Uh. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. Oh, wow. Well, I did end up getting past him anyway, and looky there, a village. But before I could even sleep in a bed, this skeleton decided he wanted to interrupt me. Pretty rude. So I took care of him the old-fashioned way. Now I'm gonna need that bed. Thanks! It was around the morning that I found an enderman, and in my excitement, I fell in a ditch. I did what any sensible Minecrafter would do, however. I drew him towards me. I need that sweet enderpearl. Long story short, we both fought together. Very, very hard and gallantly. For a long time, actually. But ultimately, it resulted in my unfortunate demise. How sad. So yeah, no sweet ender pearl for me today. Sad days. Sad, sad days. It was around the time that I pathfinded my way home that I actually stumbled across an extreme hills biome. This should be useful for multiple things, including iron. It was also around that time that Granny joined me. Can't wait to show him this. On the topic of my friends, I realized that in a world with so many people, it's always nice to have a nether hub. And with a nether hub comes obsidian, which I decided to collect the smart way. Ah, oh, for God's sake! What happened? Oh, I didn't think this through. I tried to make obsidian the stupid way. Oh, God. Yeah, I think in a previous clip I said the smart way. <laughs> I stand corrected, and uh, yeah. On the topic of me doing stupid things, I saw this in a video, if, like, there's this guy, he picked up- OH MY GOD, HI THERE! Okay, well, in a video once, this guy picked up a creeper in his boat, and at first the creeper wasn't even doing anything, and then he <laughs> exploded. Well, yeah, dude, that was literally from a perfectly cut Screams compilation, you don't just go and replicate that. Well, stupidity aside, Renovation! Yes, you heard me right. House renovation, because that cobblestone blob looks better with a farm, am I right? And for some reason in this clip I AFK'd for no reason I remember. Around the time I came back, I actually found Granny Rita working on the exterior. It's starting to look pretty good. Maybe when some of that cobblestone's gone it'll be better. When it comes to portals, I mined, crafted, and even at one point in time decided to build, but... Alas, after all my endeavors, still nothing. And yeah, about the building part, it's... It's a little confusing, let me just explain it. So in Infinite's little hidey hole, he's got this little patch behind that has lava. So I brought it all the way from the basement to the top, and tried to fill this little square here. Eventually I figured that I'd probably have enough lava that I could actually make obsidian out of. And you better believe that I still went mining to find some naturally occurring obsidian. One can never be too careful. And I actually tried to make an infinite lava source? Oh god! This thing hurts my eyes, and after a lot of burning and falling in lava and fire and stuff, I just... I couldn't do it. I quit. So naturally, I took care of it with brute force. I added the water immediately and got obsidian. Oh man, that sounded so much better on paper. Oh, this is a mess! <gasps> well, at least I got all the obsidian I need. Time to start the portal. Right in my basement. It's just like a picnic, you know? Stylistically speaking, you gotta pick just the right place to have it. Yes. Yes, here it is! Oh man, the finished product! And there it is. It's complete! It's finally complete! How... How did that take so long? How did that take so long? Well, that's actually a common question for me. That was the question I asked myself when I was making this project, in fact, because... Well, okay, let's just say it didn't necessarily go according to plan for me. Originally, I thought I'd just be able to take all that content that I recorded cram it into a few minutes, and get it done within two to three weeks. Nearly a month later, I've only got a few clips to show you, 
And it's 20 minutes long, but let's slow down and take a deep breath and appreciate this thing for what it is. Because you know what? I feel like I actually tried and actually got something out of it. And like I said at the beginning, this is just for fun. Well, it's as the old YouTuber would say, that's all I have time for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had quite a bit of fun making it, despite some of the interesting circumstances where I almost lost my sanity a few times, uh, especially in that opening clip. <laughs> well, despite that, I feel like I got a lot of progress done in this episode, what with all the mining and base construction, but I hope next episode will be twice as productive, and hopefully I can actually fit in more clips. Well, as always, have a good day, have a good afternoon, and have a good night. See ya!